Welcome to our continuing series, Quotations to Inspire and Uplift. Today, The Mother to Her Children, read by Nilesha. Here are the words of the mother to disciples and devotees, young and older, over a period of more than 50 years. I have included two or more from letters the mother wrote to me. Be sure that I am always present among you to guide and help you in your work and in your sadhana. My help is always with you to help you in your progress and your work. Every day, at each moment, my blessings are with you. I am with you. Mother gives always to each one the love he needs. I am always seated in your heart, consciously living in you. Open your heart and you will find me already there. Don't be restless. Remain quietly concentrated in your heart and you will find me there. Go deep inside the temple and you will find me there. All souls who aspire are always under my direct care. Mother is with all those who are sincere in their aspiration towards a divine life. I am always with you inwardly. I am always present near you, in you, and my blessings Come with me. For the moment, the important thing is to cultivate this widening and deepening of the consciousness which enable you to feel my constant presence with you, to feel it in a real and concrete way which will bring you an immutable peace. Keep always this awareness of my constant loving presence and all will be all right. Keep living in you the spirit of consecration and all will be all right. Have confidence. I am near you. I always look upward. Beauty, peace, light are there. They are ready to come down. So always aspire and look up in order to manifest them upon this earth. Do not look down at the ugly things of the world. Look always upward with me whenever you feel sad. Be very quiet and you will feel my help. The love and blessings are always and everywhere with you. My love remains with you in all its intensity and in the intensity of this love I have prayed and prayed to our Lord asking Him to pour His grace upon you and to make you conscious of the divine light and soul in you. 
to give you the supreme realization of His presence. I am writing to tell you that surely you should be able to feel my presence every day. I am with you so concretely. I see you so clearly. We speak together. Together we contemplate the harmony of a beautiful park. I explain to you and show you how to keep within oneself always this great peace which makes you live in eternity. Beyond all human miseries in the presence truth of the Lord. Always with you in a growing light and peace. Forward. Always forward in love and joy and a peace rising even higher. I remember and love all my children equally even if they never write to me and all sincere prayers are always answered even if I do not write myself so have no pain and be cheerful I am with you because I am you or you are me. I am with you that signifies a world of things because I am with you on all levels, on all planes, from the Supreme Consciousness down to my most physical consciousness. Here, in Pondicherry, you cannot breathe without breathing my consciousness. It saturates the atmosphere almost materially, in the subtle physical, and extends to the lake, 10 kilometers from here. Farther, my consciousness can be felt in the material vital, then on the mental plane and the other higher planes, everywhere. When I came here for the first time, I felt the atmosphere of Sri Aurobindo, felt it materially at a distance of 10 miles, then nautical miles. It was very sudden, very concrete, an atmosphere pure, luminous, light, light that lifts you up. It is now long since Sri Aurobindo has put up everywhere in the ashram this reminder that you all know. Always behave as if the mother was looking at you because she is indeed always present. This is not a mere phrase not simply words. It is a fact. I am with you in a very concrete manner and they who have a subtle vision can see me. With those whom I have accepted as disciples, to whom I have said yes, there is more than a tie. There is 
an emanation of me. In truth, I hold myself responsible for everyone, even for those whom I have met only for one second in my life. I take the greatest care to open the door within all of you so that if you have just a small movement of concentration within you, you do not have to wait for long periods in front of a closed door that will not move to which you have no key and which you do not know how to open. The door is open. Only you must look in that direction. You must not turn your back on it. 